Summer is finally here. Just in time, today's the first day of summer and we just had the wettest, coldest spring and so I am all for it now. Here are my blueberry bushes and um, they aren't looking too great this year and honestly I've kind of been neglecting them. I've been so busy with a bunch of other things and I've been noticing that they are, um, they're not this beautiful green color that they usually are this time of year. Oh, okay. As I was saying, my blueberry bushes haven't been getting much attention this spring. And so I have a suspicion that the soil pH is not ideal. Blueberries are one of those perennials that really prefer um. acidic soil. All plants have a preferred soil pH. When the soil pH is not ideal for the plant, it can inhibit the ability for the plant to absorb the nutrients that they need. So they can develop nutrient deficiencies and sometimes it's... Sometimes it's not that the nutrients aren't in the soil available to them, but more that they actually can't absorb it because the soil pH is not ideal. It's one of those things that you should probably test for um, once or twice a year. And I've, I know blueberries like soil, uh, acidic soil pH. <laughs> okay, can you put it in here, please? Can you put the, the dirt in the bowl? Uh, no, I'm not gonna let you dump it on me. So it is important to test once or twice a year your soil pH, especially for plants that have a very specific soil pH that they prefer. Now you can get your soil tested professionally um, and it can, it can range in, in prices, but I uh, like to use the home test from Rapid Test and it comes in, it looks like this. You can get one that has multiple tests or single test ones. And then it has a color gradient here for testing your pH. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start by collecting a soil sample. Um, it is important to try to not touch the soil with your bare hands if possible. If you wanna check your lawn or any annuals, things like that, you only need to go down two to three inches. But if you are testing perennials such as blueberries, then you need to actually go down four inches into your soil and collect that soil. Uh, it is recommended to test different areas of your soil to um, see if there's any deficiencies in a particular spot or maybe the soil pH differs in a particular spot. Um, but you need to check each one individually. Don't mix all the soils together and just check the overall because you might miss an area that is deficient in something. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start by just taking a sample right here. I'm not measuring, but roughly about four inches. And I'm going to collect the soil. We don't need a lot. I'm going to collect it in, we don't even need that much, in a clean container. Set that aside. All right, let's move to my uh, patio table so we can test the soil. What you're going to need is your soil testing kit. You'll need your soil, distilled water, because distilled water has a neutral soil pH. Hi, Yuki. <laughs> and then usually your kit will come with a pipette. Um, which you know you, you can use to suck up the water and it can squirt in here a lot easier but I, I can't find it I don't know where it went so I'm just gonna use a wolf syringe it'll do the same thing sorry about my son he is in this stage of life where uh, he screams bloody murder even if he's in a good mood for like everything so um, he might scream uh, on this I don't know if you can see it on the um, paper here this comes out there is a thing that says fill to soil level right there. I'll turn this around in a minute so you can see. Um, and that's what we're gonna, we're gonna fill the soil up to that level. So I'm gonna break it up as much as possible. Um, if there's any like sticks or anything, be sure to remove that. And I'm gonna stick in there. It's recommended to have your soil dry. It's a little bit easier to manage, um, but I just ran out of time. So I have a fresh sample, which is a little bit moist because it rained. I mean, just this last weekend, so. Here you can see it says fill with soil and I have my soil just about at that line, maybe a little bit more if I were to pack it down though. It's pretty darn close. Your test kit's going to come with these little capsules. These are green, woo. Add the capsule. This is the hardest part to get all of the capsule into that tiny little compartment. But if you can. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my distilled water up in my, what should be my pipette, and I'm gonna add the water up to the line that says fill with water. Now we're going to put the cap on, 
We're gonna shake it real good. Now we're gonna let it all settle. The color should start showing um, pretty soon as soon as it settles. This can take anywhere from a minute to a few minutes. So um, just gonna wait and see. This rapid test is a, has a really great resource page here in this. This goes through exactly how to do the test, including uh, nutrient tests. Um, and adjusting your soil pH, how to apply it, things like that. And then they also have a pH preference list here. So if you're not sure what um, pH your plant prefers, you can go to this list. It has pretty much everything. Like there's really nothing you, you're gonna miss. Okay, so now comes the tricky part. Um, uh, my uh, test is done. And the, the tricky part is actually just trying to, to kind of guesstimate exactly where the color falls in the gradient that they list here. Um, obviously mine is not acidic. If anything, it is neutral to a slightly alkaline pH. It's best to look at this in sunlight, maybe not direct sunlight, but I'm just gonna move around a little bit and kind of see what it looks like in different areas. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the partial shade. It kind of almost looks like it's alkaline, but if we go to the sun here it looks more like it's neutral ph but it's definitely not acidic whatsoever if anything it's neutral to slightly alkaline of course you want to be right where i'm at <laughs> this was very successful today because now i know that my soil ph is too alkaline for my blueberries and that is why they're looking like they have nutrient deficiencies because they do my plan is to acidify the soil and I'll probably end up fertilizing them again, even though I don't usually fertilize about this time of year. I'm gonna fertilize them again to make sure that they get what they need. If you would like to know how I'm gonna be acidifying my soil pH for my blueberry plants, I'm gonna be linking a video here fairly soon. It's gonna be coming out probably in the next couple weeks. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Go out and grow something. God bless. This is what Liam's been wanting to do ever since I started the video. Huh, bud? Hang out in the hammock. <laughs>